So I have finished off the beads. They dried out after the paint. I put two or three coats on some colours um, that were just seemingly a bit thinner. And I've ended up now, I then put um, acrylic matte varnish. You could put gloss, but I quite like um, to use acrylic matte. And then, I don't know if you can see, but there you go. That is, it actually does say Peter. This is the one with the little uh, stick-on um, labels, which I've given two or three coats of varnish on top. So that one goes around like that. I've done, um, just to show you, you can also um, just write on it with that black um, permanent marker. And this is a, a larger version. I've also finished off um, a sort of rather exotic thing for girls. And this is where I was taking the loo paper and wrapping it round um, that little crab claw that I found, the big crab claw that I found. And this made um, wonderful beads like that, which I sort of painted um, yellow in the middle and orange on the outside. And then I did another one which was yellow in the middle and pink on the outside. And some purple, uh, little medallions, um, those spacers that I showed you how to make. They're quite good. Lots of the beads. And something that was meant to be a leaf, but actually looks rather like a fish. And I, I thought this is quite fashionable now to kind of just have a kind of wonderful colours. They can be, these are quite bright and yet pastely, but they can also be made dark and dramatic. And I put them on a washable um, artificial leather cord, which is really nice and soft and sort of has a sort of bohemian look and feel to it. Then I just tied them all up together and you can um, wear them like that or you can string them up any way you like really. And they're just really nice and to think that they're just made out of simple loop paper. Very, very accessible for virtually anybody. And of course they don't have to be painted with acrylic paints. So, hope you like it. Look forward to hearing from you.